So, the other night I was sitting in my living room when a strange commercial came on. Are you fixing to be looking at possibly buying a new appliance and or used home appliance? The man chuckles warmly and slaps his knee around 15 times before continuing. <laughs> well, come on in to Uncle Ronnie's Chuckle Bunker and you get your hands on one of these nice once-in-a-lifetime deals. Act now and you can get our special two for the price of two special. Buy one object and get a second object of equal or lesser value at the same price. The man turns to his right, pretends to be interacting with someone. Isn't that right, Frank? Yes. A deep, booming voice erupts from somewhere, and the man seems unfazed as he continues. So come on down to Uncle Ronnie's Chuckle Bunker today. I'm Uncle Ronnie, and I'll be waiting. And then the commercial ended. Huh. I thought to myself. I don't remember buying a TV. Maybe I'm staying up too late. I should head to bed. I got up and got ready for bed. While I was performing the nightly ritual of tasks I do in order to prepare myself for the sleeping that is about to happen to me, I couldn't get that commercial out of my head. No, oh, no. I'm so poor that homeless people keep stunting on me. I can't afford homeware or appliances or smegma-infused watches or whatever the hell he was selling. I thought, I just need to keep working, saving money. I can worry about buying stuff later. I was heading to work the next morning. I just super glued the door closed. Someone stole my doorknob, okay? When John Jen, a local homeless man, walked past me, proudly sporting what appeared to be pants that had been cut into shorts and looked like he'd fished them out of the gutter. I tried not to show it, but he knew I was green with envy. I will end you one day, John Jen, I whispered to myself. On the way to work, I passed a TV shop. I couldn't help but recognize the man from the strange commercial I'd seen, only this time he was dressed as a rapper from the 80s, parachute pants and all. Hello, the Wizzle B. Yizzy. In the market for a new or refurbished rides or ride-related object Yizzle? Well then, come on down to Uncle Ronnie's Chuckle Bunker, homie. WH to the Izzier and Ur's rides on every Kizzy, except Grizzy, ones they knew past the Glock. They knew no Wizzle they did. What would you was nay say nothing nizzy down to a 33.3% APR? Tizzy doubles every tizzle I don't TH to the isink think yizzy ain't gonna pay on time. It's your homie Snoop Dogg from the DPG. Exactly. So get over here and get a pile of oozy rides on your arms. I didn't know what to think of that one, considering I wasn't sure what the hell was going on. But I couldn't help but realize how badly I wished I had a car. The day went by as normal, until my manager, Jeff, came up and started asking me some weird questions. Hey, uh, you heard about that new store that just opened up as, uh, as Uncle Ronnie's Chuckle Bunker? N no, no, I haven't, I said. Honestly, I'm not sure why I lied. <sighs> Sue me, okay? He looked at me with a confused expression. Huh, you haven't seen the commercials? They've been playing all over the place, he said in a somewhat aggressive tone. Hey, I barked. What's with the 20 questions? What, I'm not allowed to not see a commercial? Y you know what, Frank? Y you can suckle these nuts. Fuck you. I had sex with your mother last night. I'll admit, I may have been a tad bit harsh, but I had work to do. Shortly thereafter, I was fired. Something about being a dick? Whatever that means. On my way home. I expected to pass by the TV shop and see some nonsense commercial. However, when I turned the corner of that street, I saw the store was empty. I walked up to the window, and on it, there was a sticky note that read, There are no TVs here, nor have there ever been any TVs. Whoa, what a relief! I talked, shouted. I thought I was going crazy. <laughs> Lol! I walked home with long crab-like steps, really walking with purpose. I mean, I was leaning so hard that my back almost touched the ground when I walked. It felt like my kneecaps were about to explode at any second. Like, to give you a mental picture, imagine the scene from The Matrix when you know, he's like dodging the bullets, but now imagine doing that and walking at the same time. That's, that's what I had going on here. My good mood was crushed when I walked past an open window and heard a familiar voice say, Uncle Ronnie's Chuckle Bunker, come by and get manhandled by a fish with man hands. What? 
I thought. Alarmed, I crawled through the open window and yelled at the TV. Who do you work for? The man on the TV seemed to react to me, which I wasn't actually expecting. It was only a subtle reaction, but I noticed it. Oh, pissing dick, it's him! He heard the man fish hands part! The man seemed panicked and started running around before the TV cut to static. I crawled back out the window, my mind heavy with heavy, thick thoughts. Now I don't know what to think. The ever-growing desire to figure this whole thing out only got more ever-growing. But what if it's all a lie? What if, what if there were no dank deals on electric couches, at plunger dildos, and weak old soup? What if the only thing waiting for me in that bunker was fish man hands? I don't know, but I intend to find out. Hey everybody, if you're wondering what the hell's going on, uh, Reddit No Sleep is doing this thing called The Purge, where essentially the moderators aren't doing anything, they're just letting people post whatever they want. So I thought this would be the perfect time for me to try to write a story. So, I know it seems pretty tr pretty bad, but you know, I've got plans, it's gonna turn into- it's gonna turn into something. Like a guy from the ga Tales from the Gas Station said he liked it. So if you guys if you guys wouldn't mind if you want to just go over to No Sleep and upvote this story, even if you didn't like it, just do it because I can kind of uh, uh, work my way through all the shit posts because it literally there's like two posts a second that are just memeing hard on No Sleep. But yeah, thanks for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell icon thing so you can get notified when I make more videos about stuff. Okay, bye everybody.